In this video, we will be discussing how musicians are affected by music, effects of musical performance and creativity on the brain, music's effect on learning, music as a therapy, music's effect on mood, and the brain's response to emotions and music. Firstly, music benefits musicians' brains in many tangible ways, like increased efficiency and fine-tuning in both auditory pathways and speech pathways of the brain. Let's look at the speech pathways of the brain. These include the primary motor, the premotor, Broca's area, Wernick's area, the posterior superior temporal gyrus, the middle superior temporal gyrus, and the posterior middle temporal gyrus. Next, we have the auditory pathways of the brain. These include the auditory cortex, the medial geniculate nucleus, the lemniscal nucleus, the dorsal cochlear nu nucleus, and the ventral cochlear nucleus. The second part of positive benefits on musicians' brains will focus on how music training stimulates many body processes. This includes visio-motor transformation, which involves the dorsal stream and central stream of the brain. The dorsal stream is responsible for reach, and the central stream is responsible for grasp. Secondly, colossal interhemispheric transfer controls the transfer of visual information. Finally, music training stimulates audio-motor integration. Another way that music benefits musicians' brains is that musicians are not subject to the McGurk effect, which is hearing mismatched audiovisual speech as an entirely different syllable. This is because musicians have greater connectivity of the left Broca area of the brain, which is used for speech processing. They also have a less left-lateralized linguistic brain. This leads to greater function of the right linguistic brain. Next, we will look at effects of musical performance and creativity on the brain. Many genes are upregulated after musical performance that enhance neural processes. One of these is the catecholamine biosynthetic process, which transfers dopa and uses the dopa decarbolase to transfer dopa to dopamine. A higher cytosolic calcium ion amount is allowed by calcium pumps to regulate calcium in cells. Cellular ion homeostasis affects DNA and mRNA. Finally, music performance stimulates the hemoglobin metabolic process. Further effects of music performance and creativity on the brain is that it results in greater surface area of motor regions, creativity regions, and emotional regions of the brain. Also, music helps learning. For example, when words with the same rhythm are matched with words with the same syllabic stress, it helps reading. Grapheme to phoneme translation takes place in this process, and this involves speech processing areas of the brain. Music also prepares musicians' minds better for learning and playing music as a healing source. Both listening to and playing music involves right brain interpretation of the music. Also, peptides are released from the emotional aspects of music which enter cells and complete a variety of processes. Musicians with Alzheimer's benefit from the mnemonic effect of song. Furthermore, speech function is increased in people with chronic aphasia after they have had singing training. Lastly, there is an improvement in motor dysfunction after music therapy. Music has a considerable effect on mood, especially through the release of dopamine. Music can also help control emotion by controlling the emotional stimuli's effect on autonomic and physiological responses. Singing helped with the reduction of stress in cancer patients and caused an improvement of mood from higher immune activity. This was caused through a decrease in oxytocin, also beta endorphin and cortisol, and an increase in cytokine activity. Combined, this caused stress regulation and improvement in mood. Finally, listening to meditative music can change functional cerebral asymmetries, such as less right hemispheric bias and recognition of facial emotions and visual spatial attention, and more left hemispheric bias and language lateralization.